Welcome back to Gabriel Knight 3 with me and Retro Kaiser. Ahoy hoy! Yes, and we're... Uh, we were solving the riddles of Le Serpent Rouge. We'll get back to that in a minute, but let's have this see this little thing happen. I'm simply not up for another boring night in our room. The British chicks have recovered. I realize this is not the Riviera, but surely something can be done. A little quiet would be good for you after today's excitement. And we can go over the... No, no, not that. My brain hurts already. I say there, Signore Bucchelli. Are you up for bridge? Con molto piacere. It would be a pleasure. Now what about a fourth? You there, miss? Oh, bother. It's, it's Grace. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Won't you join us a bridge, Grace? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Uh, why don't you ask, what about Mr. Wilkes? Where is Mr. Wilkes? I was just wondering that myself, Signora. I haven't seen him since he left the hotel this afternoon. What a bother. How unsociable people are these days. No manners whatsoever. <sighs> I say, Mr. Barza, would you join us? I would be happy to oblige. So, yeah. Bowser? Barza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is... People are not going to get why I'm laughing, so... <laughs> this still relates to something we said on the break <laughs> about King Koopa and Bowser. <laughs> Emilia Bowser. <laughs> oh, he's, got, he's got that Koopa. Uh, so there's um. I think Bukele was drinking the wine. I think. Yeah, you saw it like five seconds ago. I don't know why I did this. I, ju I just, I guess, just for shits and giggles, I decided, hey, let's let's get Bukele's print again. Because if you do this as Gabriel, if you try to get his, uh, when Wilkes and Bukele were drinking, he recognizes Bukele's fingerprint. Uh -huh. You can never get too much Bukele in this game. <laughs> I should scan this into Sydney. Yeah. Uh, says, and now Emilia's glass. And remember when we were trying to get the fingerprints from Emilia's room last time, from the Jesus picture. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. We got busted. Not a single print. Now, isn't that odd? Yeah, mm. no fingerprints on the glass. He must have burnt off all these um, fingertips. Can't imagine what Jean does in the evening. In fact, oh, yeah. I'd rather not try. I don't know why I watched that, uh, had Grace say that line. Guess that's what happens to guests who give Jean a hard time. <laughs> 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 All right, and let's uh, here we're looking at the uh, uh, at the guys playing bridge. And nice tablecloth. Pay attention to the cards in their hands. Uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves. You'll notice that they all have the exact same cards. <laughs> so there's at least four threes of spades in this deck. Uh, three, yeah, yeah, no, not three of spades. Clubs, sorry. I have got other things to do. <laughs> You know, if that was done back in the cowboy days, I'm sure that would have been sure. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, and back to back to the laptop. Back to work. And after all at least that was that was just a complete extra thing we could do. But now there's two, Gemini the and Cancer. Mosaic tiles of the sacred place alternate black or white. And Jesus, like Asmodeus, observes AKA Dennis Rodman. I can find 64 <laughs> stones of the perfect cube which the Knights of the Beauty of the Black Wood had scattered when they fled from the White Fort while they were being pursued by the usurpers. Reassemble the scattered stones and, working with square and compass, put them into ranks. The knightly order of the perfect cube fits within and gives structure to Our Lady's protector. Okay, so the big words are... Yeah, the bi big words are Jesus, Knights, and Dennis Rodman. I mean, Asmodeus. All right. There's Jesus. And next is Dennis Rodman, a.k.a. Asmodeus. <laughs> yeah. I love it how funny you still find that. 
Knights. I'm more embarrassed that I mistook that thing for a Dennis Rodman look Knights, pawns, queens, rooks. They're all mentioned in the Serpent Rouge. The 64 stones must be a chessboard. Yes. Oh, great. Is this going to end up... Is this going to end up like Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Are they play a life-size game of chess? Stone well, well, a chess board, a grid, well or you'll be a little surprised when we get to the finale. Blocks. It must go on the map somehow. So yeah, we have to make a grid. That's it! That's the chess board. Alright, and there it, you saw it. Go, the... Resolution jump for this cutscene. And after the cutscene, we're gonna get a little bit more accelerated graphics. Hey, Kaylee. You seen Madeline? Of course. She's under my bed. Huh? Ah, you're being smart, are you? Well, I just thought she might be with that fellow of yours. This is his room, too, ain't it? Yes. Say, since Madeline's not around, you wanna have dinner with me? Uh,. No. Oh man, oh, what woman could resist that I'm offer? Celebrate, dude. Hey, I'm gonna be even Wilt is even Wilt is even proving me out right now. You play your cards right. You it's like the shadowing. It's like going on a date All with right. Norman Bates. I'll change and meet you downstairs. Really? Good. I'll. Uh... Grace is gonna do the James Bond shtick too. Quit it. Knock it off. <laughs> He's sloshed. <laughs> He's utterly pissed. Yes. <laughs> Is this it? Just like I said, right? <laughs> I love you it. said you'd explain it to me. I just don't understand all these technical things. Shouldn't have got me so damn drunk, man. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm dying to hear your theory. That's a great screenshot there. <laughs> no. no, you, uh... You said this was taken by satellite? Damn right. Seisma, um, uh, sisma, um, Seismologists. Them. Right. They use radar to take satellite pictures all the time. Shows them underground forts and whatnot. No one ever thought to take one here, though, right? So when I sees one of these maps, I says to myself, John, I says, that's the ticket. And I was right, too, huh? so the radar bounces off the earth and the echo is recorded. What? I mean, I guess. <laughs> right. Right. I love Grace's so face there. I get one of these pictures done. And baby, I hit the jackpot. What's this dark area here? A big old hollow. What you think? Caves, right? But all connected. A huge mother. So you think this is where the treasure is? Nah, baby. The treasure's right here. <laughs> yeah, Grace can take care of herself. Hi, um, I just got back and I was trying to, uh, what are you doing with Wilkes, Grace? None of your business. And, uh, don't wait up. I'm sure Mosley's back too and we do have that catching up to do. Oh, the way that scene should have ended is Wilkes looking at me like, wow, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell is that thing? Uh, that's the baby we're looking for. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it was in the intro, don't you remember anymore? <laughs> I remember it being in the comic. Yeah, and, uh, you know, th there was that trippy intro. We saw the baby in there. That, that's exactly, that was the baby from the intro. I remember the unicorn. Oh, yeah. We're going to see the unicorn, uh, too. Yes, in this episode, actually. That's odd. I don't hear anything. Usually he snores up a storm. Yeah, Mosley is sleeping surprisingly quietly. Something suspicious there. I love how Simone buzzed our room and then I just... I don't want to wake her up. I just <laughs> fell right back asleep. And by the way, you can notice now it's the accelerated graphics again because the painting wasn't so blurry. I'll go get the Harley. Yeah, so now we're going to go see what Chester is up to yeah. in the middle of the night. To the driveway, but that's probably not the best idea. Now the lighting looks really good, actually. Like, 
I, I really it's wish. It's starting to get. Yep. It's starting to get spooky over here. Oh yeah. This makes me like wish we could have seen that Mallory and McDougal bit where they roughed up the Abbey like this because the shading is so much better. I should lay low and see what Larry's up to. That always looked kind of silly to me. <laughs> he walked right past the window to go, <laughs> and now he's sneaking around. It's Captain Stiff, Jen. <laughs> Captain Stiff, Jen. <laughs> Well, it looks like he's working the graveyard shift. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I was about to note that again he doesn't notice Gabe just set, standing in the corner of his house. But I, I see his knee. Yeah, but at least like it's it's night time this right this time this time around, so it's at least slightly more forgivable. It's funny, just uh, it's funny. One of these days, characters are just boy like, "Hey, Gabe," and they're just continuing doing their business. Yeah. All right. Okay, he buried something. They probably couldn't make it out, but it, that's because it was in a black bag. <sighs> Here, though, I do think he should have totally seen Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a great piece of background music. It's kind of sad. We never hear it again in any other part of the game. I, I don't remember if I me mentioned, but these, the music is... Now what do you suppose he put in there? The music is composed by Robert Holmes, and... I'll go get the shovel off the bike. And Robert Holmes is actually um, is actually um, married to Jane Jensen, the creator of Gabriel Knight. So, yeah. This part will uh, being a werewolf will come in handy in this part. Just using your dog claws co <laughs> to um, dig up. Okay, I did think this dirt here acts a little too like liquidy. Yes, it's like it's buried in quicksand or something. Most holy and sacred bloodline by Larry Sinclair. Well, well. Yes, Larry, Larry Chester's real name is Larry Sinclair. Sinclair. Like really dramatic music for this kind of low key part. And we found out fingerprint. Aha! Uh -huh. Good old plastic report covers. Yeah. This is kind of a cool area. We never come back here. But this is really annoying that you the exit takes such a long while to get to. I better grab the shovel. I don't know what they were thinking with that. And okay, now another dramatic thing happens. A black sedan. It's a black sedan. Yeah. Damn it. It was a black sedan, but I missed it. Weird. Yeah, and actually, uh, you can, uh, if you look, listen to the soundtrack of this game, the track that you heard in the background is actually called the black sedan. And guess who's out in the middle of the night, too? Mosley's up late. Mosley's beat the crap moped there. <laughs> So we're in, we're at uh, La Mort, the dead man place. Not the place where yeah. we found the two dead men, the place called the dead man. Oh, uh, so we're not at the devil's armchair. No, yeah, no, no. That's... Can you say, caught red-handed? <laughs> he sort of came into the scene pretty creepy there. Gabe just, like, walks right in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mose. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it, Knight! <laughs> Digging for truffles? I'm... Oh, okay, see... Um... Er earlier... Okay, so I have a little theory. Same one as Madeline, apparently. Yeah? Well, we're both wrong. There's nothing here. And where'd this theory come from, anyway? 
What? I can't think of my own damn theory? I was in your logic class, remember? Oh, like you passed. I didn't hear Grace come in last night. Up late? None of your damn beeswax. Did you do something stupid? Ha! <sighs> Real stupid. We spent three hours talking about you. She knows exactly how you feel about her, in case you didn't know. What do you mean she knows how I feel about her? I feel great about her. Yeah, right. What are you talking about? I treat Gracie like a... Like a... Oh, forget it. I'm dead on my feet. I'll see you. Like a queen. I treat her like a queen, you moron. Ah, hell. <laughs> Mosley That's must funny. be in better shape than he looks. <laughs> yeah, and those ostrich arms aren't <laughs> slowing him down anymore. <laughs> <laughs> ostrich legs, I should have said, probably. <laughs> ostrich arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what were you saying? Why well, completely forgotten? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's so spooky at night, isn't it? This place. Oh yeah, most places are actually. <laughs> <laughs> time for bed again. All right, and time for another dramatic cutscene. Hey. Just the unicorn. So in other words, this isn't really happening. Gabe's having one of these weird dreams again. Oh no, faceless people. Well, this is a bizarre hunting video. He used his evil force powers on him. Okay. Animal lovers, look away. And that's and that's why the unicorn is extinct. Again, I'm getting shades of Harry Potter. Like that dude is awfully horny. <laughs> Fan service for the ladies, a shirtless gabe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, ladies mm. and <gasps> oh no, not the... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, feminist. Okay. <laughs> Quick, someone call the police. Wait a second. Didn't I make a joke earlier in this Let's, pl let's Play Blood of Grace? <laughs> nah, I don't quite remember. Yeah, so that was still part of the dream, the vampire part. Oh, so by the way, we, we're already like two-thirds of the way through the game, and... You might have noticed that there's been a distinct lack of um, of Gabe uh, fornicating <laughs> up to this point. <laughs> okay, so there, it finally happened. <laughs> And that's the end of the episode! <laughs> <laughs> so, any last words? <laughs>
Gabe scores. Gabe scores. All right. Bye. See you on the next one.